What's up, YouTube? Today, BSG ad adjusted, adjusted, adjusted some of the quests in the game, and I'm gonna quickly go through them, tell you about the changes, and tell you about the quests. So, there is a really long tweet with a lot of uh, different quests, and the name of the quest might be a bit confusing, so I'm gonna open up those quests in separate tabs, and uh, tell you what exactly you need to do, to, to do for those quests, because that's gonna make more sense. So, first of all, no place for renegades. Change the amount of experience gain from 8,500 to 15,500. No place for renegades, that's the quest where you need to kill 5 raiders in the command bunker on reserve. Alright. Best job in the world. Change the objective. Bro, I can't speak English, chat. I can't speak English. Change the objective. The progress of the quest now counts for killing any enemy, not only scavs. Wait, do I have best job in the world open? I don't think I do. Eliminate 30 scavs from over 100 meters away while using AK-74 series. So this is the quest you use to unlock the GP Castor Grenade Launcher. Alright. Decontamination servers increased XP literally by 400%. Decontamination is it's the quest where you need to kill uh, 40 scavs from less than 60 meters away while wearing specific gear on interchange. Um, test drive part 2, change the amount of experience. Test drive part 2 is you need to kill 20 PMCs while using Varisk with a suppressor. And KP SR2 reflex side. Okay. <laughs> Friend from the West part 1, change the amount of experience to 10k. That's the quest where you need to kill 7 USEX get the, their dog tags and hand them in. Uh, long road, increased amount of experience. Long road is the quest where you need to kill 15 scavs on the main road on Lighthouse. Humanitarian supplies, double the XP. This is the quest where you mark the cars on Shoreline and hand in Amari ration packs. Then we've got overpopulation, again increased XP. That's the quest where you need to kill um, scavs on lighthouse in the village area. Village, sorry, uh, villa area. Then we've got worst job in the world. Change the objective. The progress of the quest now counts for killing any enemy, not just scavs. This is the quest where you needed to kill 30 scavs to get um, to get the GL launcher for the M4. Then we have textile qu textile quests. Increase XP from 0 to 32,000, and that's basically collecting different fabrics, getting them in raid and giving them to Ragman. You can just craft them in your hideout if you want. Then we also have uh, different Huntsman, Huntsman Paths quests, that's like killing different bosses, um, killing PMCs. It's a really long uh, quest with many, many parts, and most of them got buffed. What else? Stray Dogs. Change the amount of XP from 12k to 30k. Stray Dogs is the quest where you need to kill the new the new bosses. Uh, Knight, Big Pipe and Bird Eye. And... Uh, pest Control, increased XP. Pest Control is the quest where you need to kill 10 scabs in barracks on reserve. And last but not least, increase the number of sniper scavs on Streets of Tarkov location. So I assume it's going to be easier to, to find them if you need them for your quests. Increase the minimum uh, time from the start of the raid for player scav to spawn on Lighthouse location. So finally, no more player scavs spawning in the raid. Uh, like 2 minutes, 3 minutes in the raid. Uh, that was really annoying. And uh, yeah, that's going to happen no more, hopefully. So chat, if you have, uh, if you have something to say, feel free. You're gonna be in my YouTube video. Um, and yeah, if you're watching this video on YouTube, I'm probably live right now on Twitch. So check me out on Twitch. And uh, once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. YouTube sucks. YouTube rule sucks. They keep changing their rules all the time. All right, I guess we are done with the video.